Welcome to a new lesson of Adobe Lightroom. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you will be able to import your photos or videos in Adobe Lightroom. And also, beside that, I'm going to show you about the interface of how actually Adobe Lightroom works. So, before getting into the lesson, I'm going to show you or give you a small brief of what Adobe Lightroom is. So Adobe Lightroom, or officially Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, is a piece of image organization and image manipulating software developed by Adobe Inc. As part of the Creative Cloud subscription family, it is supported on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, and TV OS, such as like the Apple TV. So why is it, what is it used for? So organization or one of the Lightroom's most important feature is image management. Many photo photographers begin the editing process with Lightroom because it excels at handling large amount of photos. So you can get more work done more quickly. You can effectively organize, manage and find more photos in a library like catalog. So what is the difference between Photoshop and Lightroom? Adobe Lightroom offers raw file processing and non-destructive editing for photos while Photoshop offers various layering tools as well as powerful batch editing features. Here in 2023, Adobe offers a photography plan with online storage space which includes both Lightroom and also Photoshop. And you have to keep in mind that like yes, it is a free or like Lightroom is obviously free and available on iOS, Android, Windows, and also Mac OS. Even if you like get the, you know, subscription plans, well, that is a bit different. So it, is it like for photography? So obviously, yes. And it is like non-destructive, meaning it doesn't make changes to the original pixels of the image if you know edit in Adobe Lightroom. So as I've told you all of it, so let's just get into the lesson of how the interface works or how it is and also how you will be able to import your photos or videos in Adobe Lightroom. So let's start off with the interface. So when you open up Lightroom or Lightroom Classic, which you have, try using the newer version of Adobe Lightroom because it's going to contain more of the details, more of the tools and help you in the later purpose. Okay. So as you can see that we have at the top is kind of like an older, you know, interface, but it's like, you know, very useful. So first off, we have the file where you will be able to, you know, open up and import. Well, all of this is going to appear over here, such as plugins and extra, you know, you could also exit through here. So you can see that there is like you can op also open up new catalogs like open recent ones, new ones, whichever you want, and also capture, you know, tethered capture and also auto import. Then we have is the edit. So edit is con like going to contain all of the editing type of tools, like, you know, some of the basics, undo, redo, cut, cut, paste, select, and then select active photos and all of those. Then we have the library where, where you will be able to enable filters and presets, flags, rating, color label, kind, metadata, new collection, and all of those. Then we have is the photos where it's going to contain all of the basic, you know, photo type of or the photo category type of tools. Then we have is the metadata. Well, this is a bit, you know, a bit complex, but you're going to get through it through the process. After the metadata, we have the view tab. The view tab is going to contain all of the viewing type of tools in your interface. So you can do all of those stuff through here. Well, not most of the stuff like all of them, but yeah, you're going to get the basics. OK, then we have is the Windows tab where you will be able to, you know, open up or like see all the windows or tabs which you want to see over here. It's a lot like the view tab, but it's going to contain, you know, find extension or exchange panel, screen mode, lights out, as you can see from here. If you have a secondary display, you can also select it from here. OK, well, it's a bit different on, you know, Mac, but, you know, the basics are just like the same. So as you can see that at the end, we have the help tab. Then, as you can see, when you open up, you know, Lightroom, you will see this like this place. OK, or this interface or like this space over here. This is called the library filter where you will be able to select the photos. OK, you have text attributes 
metadata, and then, you know, select on none. So this is where all the photos are going to appear up. Then we have is the navigator. So this is going to help you to find out your data or your photos or your videos from anywhere in your PC. And even if you like, you know, plug in some card reader, then if you like plug in a like a camera or maybe a pen drive well it's gonna help you to navigate through it okay as you can see that we have hard drive adobe stock Flickr. well this is like at the end and also you have some online services then we have filter collection then we have the folder and then we have also the catalogs well you will be able to you know open up your photos at the right side we have the histogram okay so this is where the histogram of the photo will appear up when we select on a photo well you will get it a bit later because I'm gonna show you how you will be able to import your photo right but before that I'm just gonna show you how you will be able to you know go through the interface then we have is the quick develop okay so the quick develop is going to help you to you know go through some you know specific tools such as you know white balance tone control well all of those exposure clarity and vibrance then we have is the key wording okay the keywording is also going to help you to you know enter your keywords and find out specific type of photos or videos well it's a bit you know a bit more complex but I'm just I'm just gonna go through it one by one so I'm just gonna show you the interface then we have is the keyword list so you can also search from here we have the search bar over here so I'm gonna cut it I don't need it right now then we like similar to this we have the metadata you can select your photo like which metadata you have okay just as you can see over here so this is also quite the same but you will be able to get through this you know tab or this interface easier because when the photo you apply is going to show up over here then we have is the comments okay then you can add in comments or people when they add in comments you will be able to see through here okay this is a lot like the comment section in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint but this is like a bit different but actually it works the same then after we are done with the you know the interface now I'm gonna show you how you will be able to import your photo in Adobe Lightroom but before that you can see that there are also some of the features which you can see over here our library develop map book slideshow well library is where all of these are gonna appear up then we have as the develop where you will be able to make your own preset and also your treatment all of those okay then we have is the map well the map section is going to be you know a bit different because as you can see that this is where you will be able to see the map of the actual you know globe okay but we're gonna skip through that I'm just gonna go to book then we have is the book section if you want to go through the book section you can see that there are a lot of you know these tools which you can see over here you can like you can you know make up your own photos you can like select them size cover premium you know whichever one you want then at the end this is where all synced photos are gonna appear let's say you have selected like a lot of photos and all of them are gonna appear over here and then at last we have the slideshow tab if you want to make up your own slideshow you can also use this tab or this interface to make up your own slideshow as we're done we're just gonna go back to the library and show you how you will be able to import your photos the first off there are a couple of ways how you can import your photos first things first that you have to keep your photos in a specific type of folder or even if you have your card reader or maybe your pen drive or maybe even if you're like a, a camera connected to your PC then you have to select that okay so first off you can see that just as I told you that uh, you will be able to import your photos in different ways so first of how you will be able to import your photos it's going to be selecting this import section after you select this import you know tool this will open up this interface while you will be able to find out your like you know your photos but then after that just select on this you know the folder where, where you have your photos let's say I have Lightroom setup so here I have a photo I'm gonna deselect these because I'm gonna select the photo which I have over here okay so after I select that you will see that it will be directly applied after you're like done selecting the photos then just press on done you can zoom out zoom in whichever one you want to get a preview of it after that just click on add on or like after that it will just open up over here on all photos and you can see that this is over here and just as I told you when you add in your photos your like synced image is going to appear over here and then your histogram is going to appear over here just as you can see how the you know the histogram works on how the light was fixed in this photo then if you want to open up or import photo you can use also the file tab 
So click on the file tab and you can see that there is an option called import or auto import photos where you can also import videos through here. Just click on this import photos and videos. You can also use the shortcut, which is control shift and J. Well, this is also going to open up, you know, the same type of interface, just as I told you a bit ago. So from here, just select wherever or whichever drive you have. First off, select the drive where you have your photos. I have my photo or a single photo in Steam or like F. Then we have I have it in my Lightroom setup, you know, the bar or the folder, just select on this and then select the photo. You will see that it will select up all of the photos it has in a single fold, like a folder. What you will do is just select on the photo which you have. It already selected the photo. After it did, what you're going to do is just click on the photos or like mark the photos. And after you're done, just click on the done and it will open up in your interface. So this is like basically it on how you will be able to enter or like import your photos in Adobe Lightroom and also about the interface. So hope you guys like understood everything on this basic lesson. And thank you for watching this video and staying with us.